Alright, here we go on day two of our modification test with the uh, the leveling, the autopilot, and the um, the gyro settings. I didn't get to do mode three because the wind was pretty high yesterday and it started storming. Um, so I'm gonna try it today. Hopefully, um, I did lower the. Um, let me go here and show it. I did lower the settings of the autopilot when I went to the mode two to down to 60% on the throttle where I had at 75 yesterday which was a little high and it kind of shot up after I changed it back and then the pitch which was like about maybe 0 to 10 at that moment I moved it to 20 so this way it won't give me that hard drop down and that hard shift up when it takes off so go ahead and do my initial start here make sure that uh, everything is set All right, and I like doing this as soon as I start it up and it binds up. I like to move around this here to make sure the gyros are in place. Kind of flap it all over the place there. Then once I do that, I actually shut it off, disconnect it, put my transmitter back on, and reconnect it. And it kind of flies a little better after that and smoother. The gyro tends to behave a little better when um when they're because a lot of times when you pack it in a box, you know, you're you're moving the uh um I'm off the words today, I'm a little little hungry. <laughs> um your servo arms, you're kind of shifting them around, moving them all over the place when you put them in the box, so it tends to kind of like misbehave if you don't kind of do a double double bind or double restart. All right, I'm starting off on just plain mode zero with the, uh, like I had it yesterday. And let's see how it starts off. And of course, it goes to thunder right on time with me coming outside. Jesus, this place loves me. And now we got a higher RPM, a higher throttle at 50%. Let's see how it likes it. So my throttle to pitch ratio is a little higher. So it should scream a little more, but it be it should be a little more responsive as well. All right. Now the wind's coming from the opposite direction. Go ahead and turn my timer on. I always forget that. Alright, let's give it a little bit of a nice little hard drop there. Make sure we can recover from it quick. Perfect. Alright, let's pull to the right. Let go a little bit. It'll take a little while, but it should even itself out. There it is. Alright. Let me bring it back. Where that wind starts having too much fun with it. Slow down. Slow down. There you go. Mmm, hard little kick. There you go. Alright, slight pull, but it could just be the wind, so I'm going to turn it. There we go. Just kind of jerking it up and down, make sure that, uh, behaving well. Uh, I still have a little right pull. I don't know why. I mean, I keep adjusting this thing and it keeps grabbing, keeps pulling to the right all the time. Alright. Alright, I'm going to switch it over right now. See how it behaves. Alright, good. Wasn't a big hit like yesterday. All right, right there is, I mean, let's do a fine adjustment here. Right there is actually flying itself completely. It's just going with the wind. 
I gotta fine tune it so it doesn't pull that way. All right. So it has a, a little bit of a right and back pull. Could just be the breeze changing. Yeah, it doesn't like the wind. Every time that breeze hit it, it like says hey and goes straight down. All right, this is the mode one that's at 90 percent and i think i gotta do some fine tuning because it is pulling it to the right a little bit so i'm gonna go ahead and bring it down for a second actually hold on let me go back up and change it back to mode one all right there it is yeah, not too bad and actually i feel the rpm's a little higher in mode one so i'm actually gonna raise it now i mean in mode zero bring it down one second here it's funny I actually felt the RPMs a little higher in the other one so let's actually do the opposite now let me pause this for a second I'm gonna jump into my throttle curve oh it doesn't like it right now. Hold on. I know the whole switch is on. I did that on purpose. Okay. Throw the cool servos hold. All right. My normal. I did it. Uh, my let's go to my midpoint. I did my normal midpoint at 60% right there. So now let's go into. Well, I don't want to go into this one. Well, it's, all servos are hold. Let me see. Okay. 60% as well. But I'm going to have to raise it a little bit. I'm going to raise it to about 65%. See how it behaves there. All right, let's go back down. Okay. Um, I hate taking off from the grass. So let me do it quick. I don't want to damage anything. Okay, timer back on. Now let's take off fast. See, it has that tilt to the left hard still. It'll take it to the concrete and rebind it for a second. Just to get that little thing off there. Now I'm having to hold it a little bit to the forward and to the left. So I'm going to adjust that real quick. Before we play with the autopilot too much. Come on, don't get sensitive on me now. You've been doing good. All right. Yeah. Come on, before that storm comes. Let's put you back over here. Let's do a quick reset. Take you off. Turn you off. Saving. Put you back on reconnect you. Let me see the heat on my ESC. That's pretty hot. Uh, that hovering makes this thing really, really hot. All right, here we go again. Oh man, my time reset it. I know I had about three minutes. So let me just put three minutes on this timer. Real quick here. Come on, where's my timer? Seven, three, two, three minutes. There you go. Come on, start. Okay. All right, here we go. We got three minutes to do this test again. All right, there's that the mode zero. I jumped to mode one. Wow, I didn't even see a difference. Beautiful. Okay, right there. Let me bring her back a little bit here. I didn't even feel it jump. That's awesome. All right. Of course, now it's pulling to the right because I over trimmed it. Let me bring her in a little bit here. Let me turn it, uh, turn it towards the wind. Come on, baby. 
You're doing good yesterday. All right, right there. Ah, uh, damn it! Of course, now it's over pulling, over trimmed it. Not bad. It flies pretty good, even though I only have 10% control over. It's pretty smooth. Might be a nice mold for filming, but that over trim is just pissing me off now. Yeah, look at that. Son of a bitch. Should have went a little less. Oh well. Come on, what are you doing? Why are you behaving like that? Alright, let me switch her back to normal. There, I just switch right there. And look at that. No difference on the switch. I love it. You felt no jump. The only difference is now, now I can pull her a lot harder left and right. So. All right, let's bring it back. I gotta get that tim that trim. The thing is, I can't do a half turn on my servo arms, and that's what's one of my biggest problems. That it does not allow me to do a half turn on here. So I'm having to constantly adjust this, and it's pissing me off. And it's different every time. Let me see that ESC. It's hot. It's not like killer. Wow, yeah, it's getting super hot. All right. Yeah, I'm not gonna overdo it. There uh, goes my three minute timer, anyways. That's all good. It's a good test for right now. I did manage to do at least one of the things I wanted to do that when I switched from that first mode where I had more control over to that second mode where I had least control, I didn't want to have that hard or that hard fall, that far hit. And it actually worked out perfect. I can't even tell that I jumped in between besides when I start panning and zooming. Uh, I mean, when I start panning left and right or moving forward and backwards is when I feel the difference because I have less control. Um, besides that, I felt no difference on that jump, so beautiful. I mean, at least that that much was successful. So, it's a good one for today. I'll continue the tests. Um, I promise I will do the mode 3 tests um, when I'm happy with 1 and 2. And uh, we'll get into some stunts and some 3D uh, later on. Hi! <laughs> oh the, the, uh, uh, most dangerous helicopter in the air right now. Flame, you playing Bumblebee this morning? Not gonna make it. Oh, right. Look at that. Woo! It's upside down, world. Oh. Oh. Okay, that thing is getting gone. Quick here. Wired up a switch. Out of the bag. 3,000 minutes. Yeah. Uh, IMAX B6 AC. Battery fits. It's finally here. Camera uh -huh. Devo 10 remote. All right, as you can see. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh -huh. V262 quadcopter. The Radjet 800. Uh -huh. and here, it's going to move and sway like this. Right out of the box. That's cool. You see, I'm not even touching the control. It's like... I'm at 25, maybe 20 there. 